and hello my lovelies today we're going to be making a quiche uh, for this you're going to need pretty much just basic ingredients it's pretty much just an egg dish so we're going to be using eggs I've got a bit of chicken stock I've got leftover chicken that I got from the supermarket the other day had for dinner got typical garlic a bit of salt a bit of pepper and there'll be a bit of oh. We've also got some marjam, however you pronounce it. Uh, for the for the pastry, we're using um savory short pastry. It's well, it says it's ideal for quiches and pastries. So we're just using one sheet of that. Um, I'll stick the rest of this back in the freezer. And here's a bag of pieces of feta cheese, which we'll be adding to it as well. First thing you're going to need to do is to strip the meat off the chicken and just it's going to be quite messy but dump it into a bowl. I'll see you in a moment. Cool so that's all the um, chicken added because it's you know shredded at the fluffs up a bit more. All right time to add all the other things. Alright cool, that's um, about one and a half soup, soup spoons of uh, the garlic, about a, two teaspoons of salt, about one teaspoon of cracked pepper, about one of marjong and that stock cube added in. Now, now I think I'll break off a bit of the frozen feta, as you'll see it's all um, it's all like frozen into solid chunks but yeah we'll get it out with just a knife. So yeah, after a little bit of uh, hacking and slashing, this is now a feta and chicken quiche. Well, it will be. Yep, so now, uh, mix it up a little bit. Yeah, but now it's time to add the eggs. That was easier than I thought to do it one-handed. I really hope I'm not getting any eggshell in there. Alright, got to mix that up. So yeah, that's been uh, mixed up as well as I can. I added a fourth egg. Would you believe it or not, that was actually my first ever time of cracking eggs with one hand. It's actually a lot easier than you might think. So yeah, now it's time to pretty much add the mixture to the dish. I uh, added some spinach leaves in there because, you know, I fed in spinach because why not. You know, you pretty much just dump it, that into here. And you put it into the oven. So yeah, I added uh, a little bit of something extra. You won't be able to see, because everything's better with bacon. Even bacon's better with bacon usually. Anyway, had this thing preheated and you can actually see a bit of a uh, red warmth of that. And it goes, uh, give it like 20 minutes. This is 220 minutes left ish and that should be done sweet as should be yum all right there it is all uh, nicely cooked up pastries are it was still a bit hot this liquid is just egg stuff that's solidified it's not liquid anymore cool easy yummy quiche mm, tasty yum and i'll uh, catch you all next time bye